So let's cover the most important ABAP statements. You have uh, seen here already uh, some of this. So we got here an um, variable assignment. We got here an uh, do and do loop. Then we got here also an append to an internal table. We got here an concatenate of some character strings and also an loop into an internal from an internal table into a work area and a write command. So what I now also want to show you is the different loops. We got here a do and end do and a loop and end loop st uh, statement. When I now um, go um, click on the do keyword and press the F1 button, we will enter the keyword um, documentation. And um, as you can see, we are now here and you see also the um, topics which are um, in this group, uh, which is, uh, are assigned to this group, you see also here in the, in the tree. And uh, as you can see, we got uh, also a while loop. So when I double click on it, you see also the syntax. So we got here the while, then the logical expression and the block within the loop uh, concludes with an end while. And uh, you may also know it from other program pro programming languages, how it works. Um, as soon as this logical expression is true, the loop will be preceded. And the first time this logical expression is not, um, is not true and um, the condition is checked here when the whole block is processed and the, the, the loop should be processed um, uh, uh, the next time the condition will be checked and if it's not true the, um, the loop will be ended and the processing will, will, um, will go ahead um, after the end while. We got here also an uh, example of this, how it looks like, um, while S Y um, sub R C, that's the return code. I also mentioned this uh, structure S Y. It's really important. Here are the system variables um, at runtime, and you can um, access it anytime. And uh, the return code of every statement um, is put in this variable here. So you can, if you want to see if an operation uh, was successful, the sy uh, sub rc is always set to zero. And now you can check this. You also see here um, in the detailed description how the system fields are set when um, this loop condition is processed. So for example, we got here also the sy index, which we also used and um, yeah, it's, it contains the, the current number of the, of the loop, for example. And um, yeah, you can see that um, how you can use this, this while statement here. Let me go to the overview of the loops. We got also here um, the loop, which we also used. And um, when we take a look at the detailed description of this, we got here um, this one here, you see you can also have further conditions. So for example, you can have a where statement. For example, you can say from index to index or just uh, with a where condition where you can put a logical expression and so on. So there are many possible additions here which you can um, use in the where command, in the loop command, sorry. And um, you also see at, at the end always an example. So for, we got here um, an example with a where condition. Or um, another important thing is um, this statement here, read table. You can use this statement if you want to read just a single line. And then um, you know the restriction, how this line should um, you want to read how it how it looks like and uh, you can read it into the work area in this work area here. Another um, maybe 
thing is I want to show you are also I will close this one I will, um, is also some um, the if statement so you can have a condition maybe you can say here if some text or maybe if the material number here is two so just like that we'll use it as literal but put it here after the assignment so for example then we can say we want to concatenate another text here. For example, it's not a test material, it's a, um, I don't know, only material, for example. And in the other case, then I use an else, it should be this text one here. And conclude always with an and if. So that's the syntax of how an if condition looks like. Another way is if I have um, multiple conditions, for example, I can say if material number here is uh, one, then else if material number is two and an else, um, else uh, block. So which means that in case when the material number is one, this will be only preceded, then um, if the material number is two, then this concatenate, and in every other case, this block will be proceed, uh, processed. So um, that's one possibility. Another possibility is this one here, the case command. So you can see case, material number this one here and then you can say when this value appears for example one or when two just like that and we can say just like that Maybe we, we can say that the material text is just like that. Material one. For material two, we say the same. Just like that. And in every other case, when others, we will concatenate the text just like that and conclude it with an end case. So this here does the same. So maybe I can um, I will copy the text here. And in the else block, we'll do the concatenate. So this statement here, this one here, and this one here um, do exactly the same. Um, but it's an, uh, we used um, different ABAP statements. Yeah, that's a an, an simple example, but um, I didn't just want to show you the, the syntax of it. And um, you may notice that um, every ABAP statement uh, begins with the keyword and adds, ends with a dot. And statements can be also several lines long, long, just like that. So I can say, for example, if material number is one, so this statement here, it's one statement, but it's several lines long, or the other way around, I can have multiple statements in one line. So for example, this one, 
So I have two statement in, in one line, so it, that's also possible, but I just um, prefer for the purpose of the optical clarity, uh, one statement per line, so just like that. And you will see also this, um, this syntax um, in the most ABAP reports. Another um, useful information is about comments. As you can see, we got here the line comments, which begins with a star. So when I say, uh, when I want to comment at the beginning of the line, I will say, um, this is a comment at the beginning of the line. And um, if I just want to use it um, at any position in a line, I use the double quote. So for example, when I want to use it here, let's say at any position. So the, that's about um, comments. Another thing um, I want to show you is here uh, when we get a look at the loop statement. As I said here, we loop over the internal table and put the current line, we iterate over it uh, into a work area. The work area we defined is this work area which we defined our local structure. Uh, a better solution is to not to use a work area but to use a um, field symbol. A field symbol is just a pointer to the actual line which is also recommended um, to use it instead of work areas. So for example, I will show you how this looks like. I will um, declare a field symbol with the keyword field symbols. Then the name is always uh, with this, um, this sign, star starts with this sign and uh, I will call it fs for field symbol max data. And it also has to end with this symbol here and the type and the type will be this one here. I could also say any, then that's a generic type which you can use for uh, field symbols and um, I want also to use it now in the loop command and instead of this work area and instead of the key com the command um, into, I have to say assigning field symbol, which means that before the loop statement, the field symbol is not assigned. Just uh, when the loop is processed for the first time, the um, field symbol will be assigned with the current line of the internal table. And when I now want to print it, I have also to say to use it here, but um, which means um, it's not an, an um, copy of the current line from the internal table into a work area. It's uh, just a pointer to the current line, which is also better for the performance uh, for performance reasons. So I will now check the syntax. Yeah, I have here spelling errors. Um, the others um, is correctly, so we got it. Um, you can also use a pretty printer. Pretty printer is um, when you want uh, to make a better format in your source code, you can use it. And as you can see, um, it's completed. And uh, sometimes you, for example, you want um, the keywords to be uh, lowercase or uppercase. You can uh, make the settings for the pretty printer here under um, utilities, settings. And you got here this tab, pretty printer. And now you can say you want to, for example, to have an upper lower uh, conversion and you want to be, to take the keywords to uppercase. So, and when we now do the pretty printer, as you can see, the keywords change to uppercase. And now we can activate the thing and run the report. And we got also our result.